Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many of you know he's calling you out right now? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's calling you out. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, there's some people, hallelujah, they want to keep you in. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. They want to keep you shut in. Hallelujah. And one of them, you know, one of those spirits, you know, one of those people, hallelujah, Satan himself, if you will, you know, the liar and king of liars, if you will, wants to whisper in your ear and tell you why you shouldn't go out. You know, tell you, you can't make it while you're out there. And, you know, and that fear starts to creep in. And what, we, what do we do? We lock ourselves in. Hallelujah. Shut ourselves in from what God wants us to do. He's calling you out today. If you're watching, he's calling you out. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid to step out. Hallelujah. You know, when, when the disciples got in the boat, they, Jesus let them know, you're going to the other side. You know, the storms and everything happened within the middle. But, you know, I don't know about you, but even after the storms have happened, I ain't staying in the boat once we get to the other side. I'm stepping out. It's time to step out. And even before you get to the other side, if he calls you on the waters, you know, where the trouble is happening, where you don't know what's beneath you, where you don't know what's around you, where you don't know what's above you, it doesn't matter what's beneath, around, or above. Who's in front of you? Amen. Woo! Come on now. That's, a, that's enough for a shout right now. Amen. Somebody needs to give God a hallelujah right now. Who's in front of you? Hallelujah. It don't matter who's behind you because Jesus, God, is in front of you. That's where we should be focused. That's who we should be focused on. What did he say? What did he say to If he's called you out, it's time to step out and keep your eyes above the waves. Because I'm telling you, the ocean... Is going to rise. But just rest in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to get ready for the word that he's given me today. Uh, you know, uh, a word that he's kind of hit me with somewhat all week, a little bit. Uh, you know, a word that got confirmed by, you know, I had the privilege of sitting with our pastor, uh, Pastor Wayne, yesterday, and he spoke to me about. You know some dreams and I told him what God laid on my heart about a dream and, and actually that all connected basically with this word and as God get, was giving me the word I didn't know where I was going to be going with it but it was confirmed you know and I, I just thank God that he uses us all thank God that you know when people count us out we still get used hallelujah and I thank God for our pastor just you know being obedient stopping by and uh, just got to share what was on his heart, got to share what was on mine, and God brought the hearts together through the word. Hallelujah, right? All right, so we're just going to let God have his way with the word, and right now we're going to uh, visit Revelations 21 and 5. Hallelujah. And uh, in Revelations 21 and 5, it's right up here, it says, and the one sitting on the throne said, look, I am making everything. Can somebody say everything? everything. It says, I am making everything new. And then he said to me, write this down for what I tell you is trustworthy and true. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you right now. For the word, hallelujah, that is about to come forth. Lord, we ask you to just set the atmosphere of your word right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you for what you are about to do, Lord. Remove me out of the way, Lord. Hallelujah. Open up the hearts and minds of many right now, the ones watching, the ones that are here the ones that we're going to have to reach after this message, Lord. Get them ready, Lord, for what it is you are about to do. Get them ready, Lord. Ready, Lord. Ready, Lord. Ready, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to have Pastor Melinda pass out you all a piece of paper. Uh, here's a couple of pins. 
as well. Hallelujah. Maybe we'll find another pen or two or y'all can share them, pass them around. Hallelujah. But again, right here in Revelations, it says, and the one sitting on the throne said, look, I am making everything new. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but if we just stop right there, that is a blessing right there in disguise. Hallelujah, because I done walked up in here with some old stuff that I've been trying to get rid of, but how many of you know we ain't got to worry about it? Come on, if you've been walk if you walked in here with some old stuff, if you got some old heavy weight on your heart, don't worry about it, hallelujah, because we already know right here that he is going to do what? Make it make what? Just some things? Everything. everything. He's gonna make everything new. And then he said to me, write this down for what I tell you is trustworthy and true. Hallelujah. If you got your papers right there, if you got a pen, this is what I need you to write down. This is what God is saying. He says, write this down. It says, God, right? God is making all things new. If you're watching, you can write this too. God is making all things new for me. And I can trust it. Write that all down. God is making all things new for me. Hallelujah. And I can trust it. Hallelujah. Not only can you trust it, you can believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want you to just remember, hallelujah, when people, come on now, I want you to remember when people wrote you off. Hallelujah. Think about it for a minute. Hallelujah. When people wrote you off, remember when you wrote yourself off. Because that's, that's even more powerful than people writing you off. Hallelujah. People can say whatever they want to say about you and do whatever they want to do to you. But oh, when you begin to say and do it to yourself. Oh, that, that's much powerful. That, that, that hurts a little bit worse. Hallelujah. But remember when people wrote you off and remember when you wrote yourself off. Hallelujah. Remember when you believed in the lies and what the world wrote about you. Come on. Do any of us have what the world wrote about us on sticky notes in front of our bathroom mirror? Because uh, it's probably right here. We remember it. When we see people out in the world and and see them doing great, or, or just not even doing great, we just see them, our noses turn up, because, oh yeah, I remember what you said about me. Mm -hmm. And then, we are supposed to be children of God, if you will, and and, 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 and we, we start to jump and, and do just what Satan wants us to do. Well, Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, you don't have to do that, because... He's making everything new. God's making everything, if you will, new. So you don't have to jump back into your old ways because they push the old Gary button. Come on, Gary. You ain't got to jump into your old ways because they push that trigger. Because God gave you a new trigger. Come on. Let God fight the battle. Let, let God pull the strings. Let God pull the punches, if you will. But that's easier said than done. Because I know if somebody gets to talking about me or get all up in my face, it's hard for me not to just stand there and get in there. Hallelujah. Well, what you say about me? Or what, what you going to say? What you say you're going to do? Oh, no. No. But what did God say he's going to do? Make everything new. Hallelujah. We ain't got to worry about it. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hallelujah. Think about when they wrote you off. But most definitely think about when you wrote yourself off. It's time to let go of the lies and believe the truth. Hallelujah. Because there's a truth, if you will, about this thing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want you to take your card right now and just say it out loud. Come on, say it out loud. Say it all together. God is making all things new for me, and I can trust it. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah, if you will, that we got that down and that you can remember what is going on. We're going to take a walk uh, through scripture for a little bit. Hallelujah. And today's uh, title is called The Package. Hallelujah. Today's title 
It's called the package. You can go back to it. Hallelujah. The package. Hallelujah. The scripture is not up there, but if anyone can pull up Genesis 37, we're going to start, hallelujah, at verse 1. Yes, Genesis 37. We're going to be reading uh, verse 1 uh, through uh, 28. Hallelujah. So Jacob settled again in the land of Canaan, where his father had lived as a foreigner. This is the account of Jacob and his family. When Joseph was 17 years old, he often tended to his father's flocks. He worked for his half-brothers, the son of his father's wives, Bilhah and Zilpah. But Joseph reported to his father some of the bad things his brothers were doing. Joseph loved, Jacob loved Joseph more mm -hmm. than any of the other children because Joseph had been born to him in his old age. Hallelujah. So one day Jacob had a special gift made for Joseph, a beautiful robe. But his brothers hated Joseph because their father loved him more than the rest of them. They couldn't say a kind word to him. Can you stop? Just keep your place. Hallelujah. God has something planned for each and every one of us. Hallelujah. And the plan is greater than even you can imagine. Hallelujah. The plan is greater than what people wrote for you. See, I mean, the devil has a plan. He'll steal and destroy. Hallelujah. And he's a hater, if you will. And he makes everybody become haters, if you will, against you. Because I don't know about you, but my daddy loves me. Amen. Hallelujah. My daddy loves me a lot. Hallelujah. And when people see that daddy loves you a lot, when people see you beginning to be blessed and they're like, wait a minute, I've been doing this and doing that. What is going on? Why am I? What the heck? What, what, what? I'm the oldest. What is happening? I've been in the game for a long time. But he, oh, you're making him a robe? He get a coat? What kind of mess is going on here? Why does he get so much love? When people see you beginning to get loved and come up from where you used to be, expect the haters to arise. Yeah. Expect jealousy to arise. Hallelujah. We're going to keep on moving. Go on and read the rest. Read some more. Hallelujah. One night, Joseph had a dream. Come on. And when he told his brothers about it, they hated him more than ever. Mm. Listen to this dream, he said. Yes. We were out in the field tying up bundles of grain. Suddenly, my bundles stood up, and your bundles all gathered around and bowed low before mine. His brothers responded, so you think you will be our king, do you? Do you actually think you will reign over us? And they hated him all the more. Okay, pause for a minute. Hallelujah. What has God spoken to you? Come on, think about it. Have you had any dreams? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. you, you might not have had to fall asleep and have a dream, but has, have you had any dreams? Hallelujah. Have you had anything happen to where God, hallelujah, has called you out and you know it? Hallelujah. And he wants you to share that with somebody. Hallelujah. He's showing you it. And, and then when you begin, you know, it could be as simple as, man, God called me to this business. Get ready to open this business, but you got somebody in the corner that's hating, that's been trying to open a business for ten years, but God told you it's going to happen in a month. Amen. Come on, God told you it's about to happen, and then you begin to, Hallelujah! Come on, express your dream or show your dream to somebody, and they get angry because it just isn't happening for them. Hallelujah! And then God shows you, oh, you're going to probably be working for me. I, rem I, rem I remember Gary, man. I ain't working for Gary. I'm a mess. What I look I'm older than Gary, too. What the, you ain't going to be my boss. That's how people get. That's how they get, sis. That's how they get. Oh, you ain't going to be over me. What kind of mess? Oh, no. And then they try to write you off. But God is writing you in. Come on, let's keep reading. Hallelujah. God is writing you in. Remember that. And they hated him all the more because of his dreams and the way he talked about them. So Joseph had another dream. Again, he told his brothers about it. Listen, I have had another dream, he said. The sun, moon, and eleven stars mm. bowed low before me. Mm. This time he told the dream mm. to his father as well as to his brothers. Hallelujah. But his father scolded him. What kind yes. of dream is that, he asked. 
Yeah. Will your mother and I and your brothers actually come and bow to the ground before you? Come on. But while his brothers were jealous of Joseph, Hallelujah. his fathers wondered what the dreams meant. His father wondered what the dreams meant. Soon after this, Joseph's brothers went to the pasture, went to pasture their father's flocks at Shechem. Yes. When they had gone for some time, Jacob said to Joseph, Your brothers are pasturing the sheep at Shechem. Get ready and I will send you to them. I'm ready to go, Joseph replied. Go and see how your brothers and the flocks are getting along, Jacob said. Hallelujah. Then come back and bring me a report. Let's pause for a second. Hallelujah. God's getting ready to send you somewhere. Hallelujah. And when you get ready to go, just know that God already wrote the plan out. Hallelujah. The plan is written out. You know, and I want you to know, we always mention this, that Judas is a part of the plan. Hallelujah. Judas is a part of the plan. And just know that even though the plan is written out, Satan is seeking whom he may devour. He's like that roaring lion, if you will. So even though God has the plan written, Satan is like, wait a minute, I see these plans. Hey, Lord. Hey, God. You think I can interject for a minute? You think I can step in and uh, mess with Portia for a second? That's that boat ride. Hallelujah. God said you're going to make, make it. But what did he say in Revelations? I'm going to make all things, everything. I'm going to make it all new. But you get over here and you get on that boat and the storm starts happening. It's the same old storms that have been taking you out. So it's like, God, this does not look new to me. This just isn't new. But I want you to know the plan is being written right here. Hallelujah. The plan is being written for the package. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The postage stamp is getting written right now for the package, if you will. Hallelujah. It's getting written right here. Jacob really doesn't, he doesn't know, Joe, he doesn't know what's really going on. Hallelujah. Joseph doesn't know what's really going on. The brothers don't know what's really going on. But it's, it's getting ready to happen. Can somebody say, Lord, Lord, direct my package. Direct my package. Hallelujah. Keep reading. Hallelujah. Then come back and bring me a report. So Jacob sent on his way and traveled to Shechem from their home in the valley of Hebron. When he arrived there, a man from the area noticed him wandering around the countryside. What are you looking for? He asked. I'm looking for my brothers, Joseph replied. Do you know where they are? pasturing their sheep. Hallelujah. Yes, the man told him. They have moved on from here, but I heard them say, let's go on to Dothan. So Joseph followed his brothers to Dothan and, Dothan and found him them there. When Joseph's brothers saw him coming, they recognized him in the distance. As he approached, they made plans to kill him. Mm -hmm. Here comes the dreamer, they said. Pause. Hallelujah. They already see you coming. Hallelujah. Remember the plan's written. Yeah, Hallelujah. They are, oh my God. Here comes Portia. I don't want to hear nothing she got to say. Mm. And Gary's coming too. And his wife. <laughs> and Pastor, Pastor Melinda's coming. Oh my God. And she just screams too much and just keeps going. And when God downloads in her, she explodes. I, we can't hear this. They're going to they're gonna run our sheep away. They're going to run our business away. They're going to run what we want to do and what we want to cause. They're going to stop it. Hallelujah. See, Satan don't want you to stop his plan. Yeah. Satan wants his plan to take place. Satan does not want the package to go through. Hallelujah. Satan wants to delay the package. But how many of you know that God is not going to delay the package? God is always on time. Hallelujah. Even if we are not, the package will not be delayed. Hallelujah. Satan might halt it for a second, but there is no delay. The package is going to get delivered. Hallelujah. It's going to happen. Let's go. Keep reading. Hallelujah. Come on. It's getting good. Hallelujah. Mm, yes, Lord. Here comes the dreamer, they said. Here comes the package. Come on. Let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns. Woo. We can tell our father a wild animal has eaten him. <laughs> then we'll see what becomes wow. of his dreams. But when mm. Reuben heard of their scheme, he came to Joseph Hallelujah. Joseph's rescue. Let's mm. not kill him, he said. 
Why should we shed any blood? Let's just throw him into the empty cistern here in the wilderness. Then he'll die without our laying a hand on him. Reuben was, Reuben was secretly planning to rescue Joseph and return him to his father. So when Joseph arrived, his brothers ripped off his beautiful robe he was wearing. Then they grabbed him and threw him into the cistern. Hallelujah. Now, the cistern was empty. There was no water in it. Then, just as they were sitting down to eat, looked up and saw a caravan of camels in the distance coming toward them. It was a group of Ishmaelite traders taking a load of gum, yes. gum, balm, and aromatic, aromatic resin from Gilead down to Egypt. Judas said to his yes. brothers, what will we gain by killing our brother? We'd have to cover up the crime. Instead of hurting him, let's see, let's sell him to those Ishmaelite traders. Come on, After all, you. he is our brother, our own flesh and bro mm. blood. And his brothers agreed. So when the Ishmaelites, who were Midianite traders, came by, Joseph's brothers pulled him out of the cistern and sold him, sold him to four twenty pieces of silver. And the traders took him to Egypt. That's twenty. Yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People are writing you off. Don't believe it. Hallelujah. God said, "I'm writing you in. Believe it." Hallelujah. People are trying to take advantage of you. Hallelujah. I don't know if you could hear what was happening to the package. They're ripping up the package. Hallelujah. Trying to make the package unrecognizable. Hallelujah. Trying to damage the package. I don't know if you've ever received a damaged package and you just pray, Lord, when I open this, my $100 thing better be in good shape. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, but they're ripping up the package. Hallelujah. Every stamp that God has put on him. Hallelujah. They're already trying to rip it and write it off. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you right now, if God has stamped you, no one can destroy the stamp. Come on. Hallelujah. No one can destroy that stamp. It is going to go where it needs to go. Hallelujah. You may go through, but I'm telling you, the package has to go through a process to get to Come on. Come where on. it needs to go. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It has to. Hallelujah. But people will rip that thing up. Hallelujah. Tear the address off of it. Hallelujah. But God got the address. Hallelujah. God, Hallelujah. They will write the name out. And if they think something's good in it, they're going to put their name on it. Hope that it comes to them. Ooh. Hallelujah. Ooh. But God has it all under control. God now. is making everything. You, not Father. some things, but everything new for you, 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 and you, and I, and son, you too. We Hallelujah. are the package. God is doing something here. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory Do you know that you are made in the image of God? Hallelujah. You are made in the image. Just like Jesus was sold. Come on now. Jesus was sold for the silver. Jesus was sold for the silver. He was sold for silver. Why won't you, why won't you the package be sold? Come on. Come on. Jesus was sold. They wrote him off. Hallelujah. And Lord. Judas found out, whew, I did a bad thing. Tried to give the money back. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God is saying, let them keep it. Come let them keep it. God said, let them keep, yeah. keep it. Let them yeah. keep it. Let them keep it. Oh, because I'm going some places. Hallelujah. <laughs> it don't look like it, but thank you for praying. Woo! Thank you. Woo! Hallelujah. Yes. Sometimes you got to look the enemy in the face and say, thank you for paying for shipping and handling. Thank Come on. Right now. Come on. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Thank you for paying for shipping and handling. Hallelujah. Because God has me. I'm in good care. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 39. I need somebody to. We're going to go to Genesis 39. We're getting there. Hopefully, on, hopefully you're all right. Hopefully you're receiving something. But we're going to go to Genesis 39. We're going to start at verse 6 and read through 23. Can you get that for me? Hallelujah. And these are not up there, so if you guys want to write the scriptures down and read the whole stories yourselves, you can. Uh, Genesis 39, verse 6 through 23. Hallelujah. Okay. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you. The warden had no more worries. Is this right? 39? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The warden had no more worries because Joseph took care of everything. 
The Lord was with him and caused everything he did to succeed. Right there. Hallelujah. First of all, we know that Joseph, he was thrown in jail. Hallelujah. He was thrown in jail. But why was he thrown in jail? He was thrown in jail because he was accused of, I think it's Potiphar, right? Yeah. Laying with Potiphar's wife. Breaking. Or trying to rape her. She screamed. See, son? <laughs> see, see, they're going to stop trying to stop the package mm -hmm. from getting where it needs to go. Mm -hmm. People will lie on you in a minute like, oh, no, she, no, she, she just stole from me. She just did this. Oh, oh he came through and broke into my house. But what? I was never there. But see, when the package starts to go through a process, you know, things start to happen, hallelujah. Things begin to happen, and, and you become, and you come down the line, and, and people are hating on you, and they just want a piece of you, so they rip you. She ripped a piece of his clothing. She had some of his cloth. You know, so, so to the people, it's like, to the people in charge, it's like, yeah, you were there. Why would she have a piece of your robe? Why would she have a piece of your robe? You had to be there. See, people are trying to take a piece of you just to say they were a part of you so they can get along for the ride on the to, to get where the package is going. That's good. That's good. Or they want the contents that's in the package. Yeah, My boy Joseph looked good. Joseph was looking good to her. She was looking at him like, whoop, looking better than my husband right now. It's a nice package. All packed up. Probably had a bunch of six packs in the package. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going there, but you know, but rip this clothing. He had to be here. Look, here it is. But then, right here in Genesis 39, and as we read through six and 23, we're seeing that he was basically put in jail. But can you say God is working everything, everything. for my good? For my good. Put in jail and put in jail, and then as he got put in jail, he got put in jail and put into position. Put into a position. Yeah. See, Satan thought, if I can get him put in jail, the position that he will be in is losing all hope. That's good. Losing all, That's good. losing his mind. That's good. Paul, in jail, didn't lose his mind. Still was doing what God told him to do. Thought he would lose his mind sitting in jail. But what happened? God moves him up into a position. Come on, let's see what the, let's see what the position is about. Hallelujah. Keep Come on reading. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yeah, that was the last. Go to Genesis 39, 6 through 23. Oh, 6 through 23. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, so read 23. Oh, you read 23. <laughs> yeah. So basically I I somewhat summed up 6 through 23. Because we're right there. So you can go from 23. On, on up, because she didn't read what I just explained. <laughs> Hallelujah. But 23 on up. Hallelujah. Let God have his way. Oh, no, because that's talking about her. Okay. You know, and the clothes being ripped anyway. So keep going. No, Genesis. Oh, 23 was the last verse? Okay, so don't worry about 40 right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, God's moving it, right? Hallelujah. But again, people was trying to destroy your package. Like, man, that... See, I love games. Everybody know, man, that Xbox came through my way. You know what I'm saying? And if Gary get a hold of it, he's probably going to take the controller. You know what I'm saying? Just so he can have a piece of the package. I'm messing with you guys. <laughs> Hallelujah. But no, people want some of you just to say they had you. That's the truth. And then want to throw you to the wayside. Throw you away in hopes that the piece of you that they have will get them somewhere while you get nowhere. Uh-huh. Come on. Yep. What you got? Hey, I'm going to get uh, called out today. Mm. Because of something happened yesterday. And there was something happening in the, uh, in the past. Mm -hmm. But God took control of yesterday. Yes. So I, I walked to the, uh, the gas station. Hallelujah. Pastor Wayne had the person I had a problem with in the car. He was at the church, you know, I thought I did in my house. And she showed me the video and saw my and I saw the person. Mm. I was getting done. Hallelujah. So but you really hit that Gary man. Mm -hmm. But then she was like, that ain't what God wanted. Come on. So man. I sat there and then this morning when I came here. 
Come on. When you had me write this down, I looked at it several times. Yes. God told me I made you new. Yes. And you, but for me, you can trust me. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes, and he will handle it. Hallelujah. We are his package. He will handle it. Hallelujah. And so as we've read uh, 37 and 39 uh, in Genesis, we know most of the story. And Joseph, hallelujah, goes on, if you will, to interpret dreams. Hallelujah. He, he could tell you about your dream if you needed to, but it wasn't him. It was the God in him. It was God that he served. See, see the package ain't nothing. Until God gets in the package. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. And so again, he goes on to interpret dreams. And he's basically put into another position. And he's getting moved on from position to position. Can somebody say, Lord, thank you. For the opposition. For the opposition. Because it's making room. For my position. For my position. Come on now. Hallelujah. When people come against you. When people oppose you. Hallelujah. Hold your hands up and just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because I know I'm getting moved into a higher position. Amen. Come on, hallelujah, receive that. Hallelujah. So again, Joseph goes on to interpret dreams. Uh, hallelujah. He even goes on to tell Pharaoh what his dream means. And it hits Pharaoh. Come on now. It hits Pharaoh in such a way that he places Joseph, what? into a position. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He places Joseph into another position. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Can we go to Genesis again? We're going to go to Genesis 41 and we're going to read 39 through 40. Hallelujah. Genesis 41, 39 through 40. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, since God has revealed the meaning of dreams to you, yes. clearly, no one else is as intelligent or wise as you are. You will be in charge of my court, and all my people will take orders from you. <laughs> Only I, sitting on my throne, will have a rank higher than yours. Come on, that's something to shout about, is that it? Yes. Hallelujah. He put him in charge of all the people. Hallelujah. God is calling you out to his people. Hallelujah. You may not have the same that I got, but all his people that he wants you to be in charge over, all his people that he wants you and you to look after. Hallelujah. God is calling you out. Whatever he's calling you to, he's putting you over that. Again, Lord, we thank you for the opposition because it's making room for our position. Hallelujah. And not only did Pharaoh make him in charge he made this thing official. Can you, you know, I'm, I'm reminded of that saying, you better put a ring on it. What did Pharaoh do? Hallelujah. He put a ring on him. Hallelujah. It's like his favorite ring. He put it on Joseph. It's, it's like, y'all know I'm married to Melinda. What, what y'all doing? You better recognize what's going to put some respect on this. Okay. Hallelujah. That's what it is. <laughs> that when, you, when she's walking out, you better put some respect on this. Come on now. Hallelujah. And not that I'm a master over her or she's a master over me, but, but you recognize this, right? You're just not going to mess with me. You're just not going to approach the package in any type of way now. Hallelujah. Because the package is now decorated. Hallelujah. In a sense, so we know what that is right now. Say, Lord, thank you for making my package new. Do you see how it's beginning to become new? And not only did he put a ring on it, hallelujah, he dressed him up in some fine clothes. Hallelujah. See, they started whipping the package up, but you went through a process to get repackaged. You went through a process to get redressed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So bring on the test. Bring on the test. Hallelujah. Don't be paying attention to the messer. Keep your eyes on the blessing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because a lot of people are going to mess with you. A lot of people are going to try to destroy the package. Hallelujah. Destroy the package. Unemploy the package. But God redoes the package and employs the package. Come on. Come on. I think we need to say it again. Thank you, Satan. 
Come on, thank you, Satan. Because he don't get thanked a lot. Thank you, Satan. Hallelujah for paying for shipping and handling. Okay. Woo! Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah again. He 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 died, you know, dressed him up. Put the ring on it. If you like it, then you better put a ring on it. I know I can't sing, but he liked it. He liked it. He he liked it. He made it official. Since you were placed in your mother's womb, it's been official. Mm, it's been official. You just haven't been born yet to go through the process. You haven't been born yet to be dropped off at each packaging station. Hallelujah. But when it's time, you shall be heard. The first station is delivery. Come on, the delivery room. Mm -hmm. You're pulled out. Cleaned up, dressed up, delivered back. Hallelujah. Then you go through all the stages of delivery. All the rips and tears that will happen through life. But oh, when God gets a hold of the package. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you, God. When we decide that we're not going to throw ourselves off the six-story building. Mm. When we decide we're going to love ourselves because oh. God is the postman. Mm. And we're going to let him take good care of us. Oh, it's amazing what God can do. Hallelujah. He's taking you places. He's going to do some things with you. He's going to put the ring on you. He's going to put the clothes on you. And who cares if they erase the name off the package? Joseph got another name. Come on. He's going to rename you. Go on and read. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. He, he changes everything. Not just a piece of you. All of it. Everything is new. Amen. Come on, hallelujah. Right. Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the entire land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh removed his signet ring Woo. from his hand and placed it on Joseph's finger. Yes, yes. He dressed him in fine linen hallelujah. and hung a gold chain around his neck. Bling, bling. Then he had Joseph ride in the chariot reserved for his second in command. So Pharaoh, oops, and Joseph... And Pharaoh said to him, I am Pharaoh, but no one no put one. a hand or foot in the entire land of Egypt without your approval. Mm. Then Pharaoh gave Joseph a new Egyptian name. Hallelujah. Come on, hey. hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Thank you, God. Zephaneth Paneah. He also gave mm. him a wife whose name was Asenath. Mm. She was the daughter mm. of Potiphar, the priest of On. So mm. Joseph took charge on mm. the entire land of Egypt. Come on. He was 33 years old Come when on. he began serving in the court of Hallelujah. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. Yes, Lord. And when Joseph left Pharaoh's present, presence, yes, he inspected Lord. the entire land of Egypt. As predicted for seven years, the land produced bumper crops. During those years, Joseph gathered all the crops down in Egypt and stored them from the grains the surrounding fields of the cities. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And I bet you you're going on, well, why the name change, Pastor? Remember, they didn't ripped up the package. They didn't want nobody to know who you were when you got to where you were going. But God knew who you were before you got there. Hallelujah. God knew what he was doing before you got there. Hallelujah. On, Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. They can't just approach Portia on a Portia level no more. How you doing, Miss Portia? Put some respect on it. Come on. Hallelujah. They, the, the, the name has to be changed. Right. Hallelujah. Because right. God's doing a new thing. Right. Can you say God's doing a new thing? God's Hallelujah. God's new thing. When you step God's foot into God's where you're going. God. Hallelujah. When you step foot into where you're going, into where God is sending you. Hallelujah. It's not you, but it's the God that's in the package that every knee shall bow to and every tongue shall confess to. Hallelujah. They're not confessing to Gary. They're not confessing to Pastor Aaron. They're confessing to God. Come on now. Hallelujah. And all you got to do is stand and be decorated. All you got to do is stand and be packaged. You ain't got to have no jealousy, hate, and envy in your heart. Come Hallelujah. Now. Just Lord, do what you do. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Come on. Come Won't on. he do it? Yes, he will. Come on again. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for the packaging process. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. 
Genesis 42, I'm just going to sum it up a little. Joseph, you know, they, they had to bow to him. Hallelujah. He had his time with his brothers. Hallelujah. And I think he got a little bit into that old Joseph, if you will. He, he forgot he had the new name somewhat and got tapped back into the old Joseph. He, he spoke some harsh words to his brother. But I'm telling to his brothers, but it's all right to express yourself. It's all right to let it out. Hallelujah. Don't hold it in. It's all right to let it out. He had some harsh words. He had his time with his brothers. You know, he put them to the test. Why? Because he, he, he a new package. Ladies and gentlemen, saints of the church, God's going to place you back in front of the people that wrote you off. You ain't going to look like the same box that they packaged you up in and sent off. You ain't going to look like the same old Gary. You're not going to look like the same old you. Sis, you're not going to look like the same old you. You're going to be what? You're going to be repackaged. The package is going to be new. No dents, no dings, no spots, no blemishes. Come You're going to be sitting right in front of them like, what's going on with you? Who do you think you are? But you know, don't keep yourself humble. Don't go crazy because God needs to fight the battle, right? right? Hallelujah. But again, Joseph in 42, Joseph had his time with his brothers. He put them to the test. He didn't even make them pay. L listen to this. Even though they... Did him wrong, he did them good. He didn't even Come make them now. pay for Come the grain. He didn't make them pay for the grain. God, that's God. See, it is not you, but God. God See, when God is in the package, God, you will start working in the ways of God. But if you keep, that's why the name is changing. God. But if you keep that same old you, Come on. that same old wine skin, I'm telling you, if I was in my <laughs> same old wine skin, I'd burst on Come a couple on now, of people. Don't shout on them. I burst on them. Thank God for the new wine scheme. Come on. Ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank move move God. down to 43. Uh, you you now that the brothers, now they are coming back with blessings because they are scared. First of all, Joseph, you know, set it up to where they'd have their grain plus all their silver back in the bags. Ain't it, a, ain't it crazy how God will still bless the messenger? He does. He still will bless the messy people. Anyway, he put the they're coming back with blessings because they're scared of what could become of them and their family. Hallelujah. And guess what they did? They bowed down to the package. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember the dream? He told them they would. But anyway, they bowed down to the package. Hallelujah. And he even sat and had dinner with them. Hallelujah, Desmond, can we go to the next screen? He even sat and had dinner with him. Listen, it says right here in Psalms 23 and 5, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Sometimes your family is enemies. Sometimes you got enemies within the family. Hallelujah. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. Oh, Joe, the package was anointed. Hallelujah. And my cup runneth over. Oh, man. Look at, look at how his cup ran over onto his own brothers with blessings, even though he didn't have to bless them. Thank you, God. Sitting in the midst of his enemies. Hallelujah. 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 Portia, come on. Hallelujah. You're going to be that package, sis, that's sitting at the table eating with your enemies and they don't even recognize the package. Everyone here, if you're watching, get ready to sit at the table in the midst of your enemies, a brand new package, and they don't even recognize the package. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They messed you over, but you get to enjoy blessing them over and over and over. And as you bless them over and over and over, the hot coals will reap over their heads. Hallelujah. God will have his way. Yes. There's a blessing in their messing. And you be get the, yes. and you are allowed to bless the mess. Ah. Woo! Come on. There's power in that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God got it. What does your paper say? Come on. I want you to read that out loud again. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. Hallelujah. God is making all things new for me, and I can trust him. Him. Don't trust the lies. Can we move to the next slide? Come on now, We're going to look at a quote right here. Sojourner Truth. Okay. 
I feel safe in the midst of my enemies. Who you a new package. They don't even know who you are, first of all. Mm -hmm. I feel safe in the midst of my enemies. For the truth is all powerful and will prevail. That's a quote. That's a quote from Sojourner Truth. The truth is all powerful. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. And the truth will prevail. The truth. Joseph was the truth. The truth was within Joseph. Hallelujah. The brothers hated the truth. Even though they sold him into bondage, what did the truth do for him? Set him free. It set him free. Set him free. Hallelujah. The truth, hallelujah, set him free. As we move to 44, hallelujah, it's not up there. As we move to 44, hallelujah, this is Genesis. We're still in the book of Genesis. He, Amen. come on, Joseph, set them up, hallelujah, by putting a cup in the youngest one, I believe. The youngest brother sat. He was setting them up. It was like a setup, if you will. They bowed to Joseph again. Hallelujah. Come on. Again, bowing down to the package. Hallelujah. To explain themselves. Hallelujah. And told Joseph how their father would feel, especially about the younger brother not returning to his father. So I think the older brother basically wanted to take the place, you know, wanted to take the blame, if you will. I know we didn't steal it. We don't know how the cup got there. But they're like, wait a minute. This is the master's cup. Y'all stole this cup. Setting them up. Hallelujah. But I'm not setting them up for a mess. But setting them up to be blessed. Setting them up to be blessed. Hallelujah. And then as we move on to 45, the package gets revealed. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah. Joseph reveals himself and told them, don't be angry. Come on now. Told him, don't be angry for selling me. I don't know if I could just tell, tell, tell Portia that. Man. I know you sold me, sis, but I'm about to knock you out, man. <laughs> nah. No. Don't be angry for selling me. Look at me now. Look at the package. And they're just like, wait a minute, you can't be Joseph. What? That those ain't the clothes. That, that, you got a ring on? You can't be chosen. How did you get to this position? Because you were my opposition. Ah, you opposed me. Glory. You came against me. And as you came against me, God came against me too in the pressure. Hallelujah. Pressure makes diamonds, baby. God pushed back too. God pushed back too. Come on. Hallelujah. If they push you, allow God to push back. Don't you do it. Allow God to push back. Hallelujah. Allow God to push you through the delivery service. Come on. Hallelujah. He reveals himself and says, because God, don't be angry at me. Don't be angry at me. You know, don't be mad, you know, for selling me. Don't get mad at yourselves for selling me. Because God had his way with me. Hallelujah. The truth is all powerful and will prevail. The truth is in me. He is the way. Woo. The, truth and the postman, the way. That's how I get. That's how the package gets where it's going. And the truth is inside the package. And if you can accept the package, you're going to receive the life. That's good. That's good. If you can accept the package, you're going to receive the life. He said, don't be angry. Because you sold me. God had to do it all. He had to allow it to happen. Come on. Woo! Thank you, God had to allow it to happen. God has to allow what's going on in your life yeah. to happen. God has to allow the process yeah. to take place so you can get to where you're going to. Why? It's not for you, but it's to save lives. Yeah. Come Joseph, on. it says it right there in the Word. Hallelujah. Now God had to allow it to happen because lives had to be saved. He had to go ahead of me. Hallelujah. I had to go, your brother Joseph, I had to go ahead of you to save you. But you didn't know what you were doing. Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do. But I know that in the process of what they are doing, you are in the process. God had to sit there ahead of you. God, he's sending you somewhere. Honey, he's sending you somewhere. And you're going to have to go ahead of some people. 
because they're largely saved. If Joseph didn't go, they would have starved to death. He wouldn't have been able to give them no grain. He wouldn't even be able to bless them with their silver. He wouldn't have been able to give it back to them. If he would have been the same old package that he was. Thank God for repackaging you. Thank God for repackaging you. Thank God for being the postman in your life and delivering you. Hallelujah. He got repackaged and re-delivered to his brothers. God is going to re-deliver you. You know, matter of fact, hallelujah, they wrote you off. They wrote you off, but God's repackaging you. God's putting the ring on that thing. God's putting the stamp, 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 and it's going to say return to sender. Return to sender. My God. My God. Won't he do it? Yeah. Come on, won't he do it? Yes, yeah. he will. Hallelujah. He says, I had to go ahead of you. Lives needed to be saved. He had to go ahead of his brother. True. To preserve the remnant. Uh -uh. He had to. Hallelujah. And all. And he sent for his father. And then they got the best of Egypt. You thought you was getting rid of the best. But the best got better. And it came back to bless you. Whew. God is setting you up for a victorious comeback. Oh, glory be to God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. They want to mess you up, but God's about to bless you up. Uh, come on. And set you up Amen. for a victorious comeback. My God. My God. Hallelujah. 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 They wanted to give you the least in Egypt, but God sets you up to give them the best Amen. in Egypt. Hallelujah. It's all in the package, baby. It's all in the package. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though they was messy. Mm. They too received a blessing. Mm. Hallelujah. Your enemy. Your enemies are coming. Hallelujah. Mm. And when they come, they're not going to know how. Come on. They even receive their blessing. They're not even going to know why they are receiving it. Why they're even worthy to receive their blessing. But you. The package. Come on. Come on, but you, the package, they don't even know where they're going, how they're going to make it. But you, the package, shall lead them. Mm. You, the package, shall lead them. Hallelujah. They had a plan, but God had a plan. Can we go to the slide? Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know. Whew. This is even powerful after that story. We read this all the time. But, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Not declares Satan. Not declares your family member. Come Forget they now. plan. What? Forget they plan. They plan might look like it's taking place, but the Lord declares that he knows the plan that he has. Jesus. Glory be to God. Not your job's plan, Come on. but God's plan. Yeah. Hallelujah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you when they threw you in a pit. Mm. Plans to prosper you when they sold you out. Plans to prosper you when they wrote you off. Plans to prosper you when they ripped up that package. Plans to prosper you when they canceled out your name. Plans, plans to prosper you when Satan tried to foreclose on your identity. Ah, come on. <sighs> Plans to prosper you and not to harm you when they tried to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. I don't know about you, but there was hope in the package and we can see the future Amen. of that package. Amen. You may not can see your future right now, but if you're going through the process, get ready for your stamp. Amen. Get ready for your stamp. Get ready for your ring. Get ready for your wrapping paper. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
There's a lot of things in this world that come in packages. A can of beer. But we only want what's inside. And after you drink, after they drink everything that's inside of you, guess what they want to do? See, they, they, they don't hardly forget about you, but they do, but they, they think about themselves. They drink what's inside of you, then crush you and sell you for the profit. Mm, that's true. Yeah. You ever crushed cans? Come on. They drink everything, empty you all out, yes. and crush you to get a profit. Yeah. I'm telling you, the beer loved the can. Probably wish it never would have got out of it. <laughs> the candy loves the rapper. But we will eat our candy and throw the wrapper away. The squirrels will come get the wrapper and use it for home. Mm. Use it for their nest. The mice will use the wrap. See, even though you've been thrown away, somebody still wants to use you in a good way. Amen. Somebody still has a good use for you. Amen. Even though you've been thrown to the wind, somebody still has a good use for you. There's some good use still left in you. Yeah. Even though you've been crushed, you still worth something. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What happens to the can? They sold you off. But it gets recycled and becomes new. Becomes a new package. Or used for the package. Hallelujah. Again, lastly, see God in the mess. Because if you focus on the people making the mess, you will miss out on your blessing. Thank God for repackaging. Get this message. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. That was a powerful word today. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I know I needed that word. I needed that word. Amen. Amen. That's a reminder. Amen for that. That was so powerful. Now you see why you've been going through what you've been going through. Amen. It's for the new name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's for the process. The packaging that's taking place. Amen. Hallelujah. And I was just thinking when I was sitting there about when you get ready to have a name change, all the hell that you go through. Mm. Mm. God is getting ready to do something. If you're getting ready to get married, your name is about to change. Your identity is about to change. Even if you're a man, the one shall become two. Something is taking place that's much bigger than you were before you were who you were before. You become Mr. You become Mrs. If you go to school, if you become a doctor, all the hell that you have to go through to get to that name, Come amen? On. Come on. It's the truth. If anything is getting ready to change that's bigger than you, you're going to go through something to get to that name. Hallelujah. To that new package. But when it's all said and done, hallelujah, the gloriousness that happens from the new name, hallelujah. And the thing that struck me whenever he was talking, God knew that his name was going to change. Savant, I can't remember how to say it. But God knew that his name was going to change. He knew who he was before he was in his mother's womb, amen. And even though that man changed his name, his name had to be changed to take on the totality of who he was. Hallelujah. Because it couldn't be contained by Joseph anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. This is very deep message. It is. This is very deep. I encourage everybody to read over this and ask God to give Amen. you more revelation. Amen. And I know he's not done with this message in our hearts. This was very, very, this is deep. This can go much deeper. Much deeper. Just the name by itself. That in itself, and what a name encompasses, mm. my God, my God, that's huge. It's very, very big. Well, thank the Lord for it. Pray for God to strengthen my husband. I know that took a lot out of him. <laughs> ah, but I thank God for giving him strength. And uh, just pray over the service unless anybody has anything they need prayed for or anything before we dismiss. <laughs> 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, honey.